وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد In this episode, inshallah ta'ala, I want to speak about Ramadan وحفظ الوقت In the month, month of Ramadan, it's a month where we need to learn to protect our time and save God our time from wasting it. Time is a very valuable thing Allah has given us subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swore by time because of its importance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, wal asr. And Allah is swearing here by time. And some of the scholars they took from this that Allah is swearing by all times whether it be in the morning or evening or afternoon. And some of the great scholars, they used to say, إِضَاعَةُ الْوَقْتِ مِنْ عَلَامَاتِ الْمَقْتِ Shaykh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said something like that as well. Wasting time is from the signs of destruction. If you want to see a person who is destroyed, a person who is, uh, who has very low values, it's a person who doesn't value his time. He doesn't benefit from his time. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us many blessings. Ni'am. Those ni'am that Allah has given us, we're not able to count it. We're not allowed to, we're, we're not able to. We're unable to place any number on it. We can't say the blessings of Allah that he's given me is this much. وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا If you try to count the blessings of Allah, you'll never be able to count it. And from the great blessings of Allah is ni'matul waqt, the blessings of time. That's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, ni'matani maghboonu fihima kathirun min al-nas, al-sihhat wal-faraag. Two blessings the people are heedless of. The people don't value it. They, they exchange it for insignificant things. And those two things are what? Time and health. Today, alhamdulillah, we've been given time due to the coronavirus outbreak. COVID-19 has really given many of us free time. And we work from home. Um, we've been given the opportunity and the chance to sit down, re re reassess ourselves. We've been given the opportunity to have that time with our families and our loved ones. Time is being given to us, and many of us are healthy and have not been afflicted with the virus. It's this time that you really show up, that you really are thankful for Allah, what He has given you. You don't want to come the day of judgment and you regret uh, what you've done with your time. You don't want to be from the people Allah mentioned that they will say, Yawm Al-Qiyamah, Ya hasrata ala ma farrattu fi jambillah. Ya hasrata ala ma farrattu fi jambillah. Ah, you know, regret. I regret ala ma farrattu fi jambillah. That which I have forsaken. That which I didn't take and give importance to it. You're going to regret it and cry over the time that you wasted. The poet, he said, Daqatu qalbi al-mar'i qailatun lahu. The beating of your heart is saying to you every day. And in your heart, the beating, the beating is doing. Every beating, it's talking to you and it's saying to you, Inna al hayata daqa'iqun wa thawani. That this life is minutes and seconds. Farfa' li nafsika qabla mawtika dhikraha. Fa dhikru lil insani umru thanin. Raise yourself. Before death comes to you. Raise yourself. Benefit from your time. Take it in. Because remember when you remind yourself and you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you utilize your time, it's the greatest thing that you can do with time. Jamaluddin al-Qasimi, the great 
scholar rahimahullah came by one day a group of people playing and he saw them and he's a great imam his time is so tight he hasn't got any free time to do anything he's actually uh, he's short on time he needs more time and so he saw a group of people uh, that were playing and he looked at them and he said if only time was something that could be bought or sold I would buy time from these people and they don't understand what they have so I would say to them I'll give you money for it um, and give me your time some wise people they once said or a wise man once said كَمَا أَنَّ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ يَعْمَلَانِ فِيكَ فَعْمَلْ فِيهِمَا As day and night are making their movements. As day and night are working on you, then work on it. The days and nights that are going by are taken from your life. They, they're scraping your age. They're taking your physical strength away from you. نعم. So what would the wise person do? The wise person wouldn't let the day and night come and just take things from him. He will take things from the day and the night as well. Be wise, brothers and sisters. Don't let the day and night take away from you your health, your brain, your strength, your everything. And then you're not taking anything from it. Hassan al-Basri, he said, أَدْرَقْتُ أَقْوَامًا كَانُوا عَلَىٰ أَوْقَاتِهِمْ أَشَدَّ مِنْكُمْ حِرْصًا عَلَىٰ دَرَاهِمِكُمْ وَدَنَانِيرِكُمْ He said, Hassan al-Basri, I came and I've met, I've come in contact with, I've met a group of people who were so stingy on their time, like you guys are stingy on your, your, your wealth, your dirhams and your dinars, the way that you are towards it, they were like that towards their time. They wouldn't let anyone take a minute from them. Some of the salaf, some of the great scholars, if someone would come up to them and talk to them, and they'd say, I want to ask you a question, they would say to the person, could you stop the sun? Or could you stop the, you know, the, the time? You then can ask me the question. And if he says, I can't, of course he can't. They'll say, I don't have time. And that's how busy they were. That's how preoccupied they were. Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, he said something very powerful. He said, إِضَاعَةُ الْوَقْتِ أَشَدُّ مِنَ الْمَوْتِ Forsaking time and wasting it is worse than death. لِأَنَّ إِضَاعَةَ الْوَقْتِ تَقْطَعُكَ عَنِ اللَّهِ وَالدَّارِ الْآخِرَةِ because wasting time will disconnect you from Allah on the Day of Judgment. وَالْمَوْتُ As for death, يَقْطَعُكَ عَنِ الدُّنْيَا وَأَهْلِهَا As for death will only disconnect you from the dunya and its people. That's it, but not akhirah. Whereas wasting time will disconnect you from what? It will disconnect you from uh, the dunya and it will also disconnect you from the akhirah. Naam, people waste their time don't bring out much benefit in this dunya as well. Please, my beloved brothers and sisters, it's an opportunity. Ramadan is that month where you learn, schedule your time. Set yourself a time to sleep. Set yourself a time to wake up. Set yourself a time to study and read and research. Set yourself goals, objectives. Get yourself a diary. Write down, note down things that you're going to do and work towards that. وَكَانَ دَاوُدَ الطَّائِيُّ يَشْرَبُ الْفَتِيتَ وَلَا يَأْكُلُ الْخُبْزَةَ داوود الطَّائِيُّ, it was mentioned regarding him, it was said about him, um, he never used to uh, eat bread. Rather what he would do is, he would uh, uh, take the crumbs, the crumbles uh, of the bread and he would put that in his mouth and he would drink water after it. So they said to him one day, فَقِيلَ لَهُ فِي ذَلِكَ Someone said to him, uh, why? Why do you do that? Why do you just eat the bread? Faqala, he responded and he said, بَيْنَ مَضْغِ الْخُبْزِ وَشُرْبِ الْفَتِيتِ قِرَاءَةَ خَمْسِينَ آيَةً The duration between the two, eating the bread and eating the crumbles and drinking water with it, is 50 verses I recite between it. يعني في خمسين آية I read 50 verses if I eat uh, if I drink the fatit, if I drink it with the crumbles um, and I eat the uh, crumbles, I can swallow it quickly and I can drink water. Then if I eat bread. Look how he's observing his time and how valuable his time is to him. 
It reminds me of the lines of poetry, Ya mudhiban sa'ati umrin ma laha, iwadun wa laysa li fawtiha irja'u, an faqta umraka fil qasarati wa innahu, amalu sata'ti ba'dahu awja'u. O you who has allowed his time to just go like that, Ya mudhiban sa'ati umrin ma laha, lifespan that you don't have. Iwadun, you're never going to get that time back again. You're not going to be given an exchange for it. وَلَيْسَ لِفَوْتِهَا إِرْجَاعُ And what you've lost from that time, it will never be brought back to you. And فَقْتَ عُمَرَكَ فِي الْخَسَارَةِ وَإِنَّهُ You've wasted your time in things that are not beneficial for you. عَمَلٌ سَتَأْتِي بَعْدَهُ أَوْجَاعُ The actions that you're doing now and you're wasting your time with, it's going to come a day where you're going to regret it. It's going to hurt you. You're going to say to yourself, يَا حَسَرَةَ عَلَى مَا فَرَّدْتُ فِي جَنْبِ اللَّهِ You're going to cry over it. What I want to say is, don't be a person who cries over spilt milk. You cry over some things that you didn't do. And you cry over things that you should have done. You have the opportunity now to rectify your situation and to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a clean heart and an open mind. It is this opportunity that we have, inshallah ta'ala, to realize the importance of time and how to benefit from it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be from those people who value their time, benefit from their time. When I say this, my beloved brothers and sisters, to see the importance of time, it doesn't mean that the person doesn't enjoy himself or that the person doesn't spend quality time with his family and laugh with them and spend... Now, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying, set yourself time to study and to learn. Set yourself time where you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Set yourself time where you connect yourself with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just do what the Prophet said. Sa'a, sa'a. Inna li nafsika alayka haqqa. Your nafs has rights on you. Wa li ahlika alayka haqqa. Your family have rights on you. Wa li rabbika alayka haqqa. And your Lord Allah azza wa has rights on you. Fa'ati kulli di haqqin haqqa. Give everyone their rights. Inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to conclude there with the Ibn Kareem. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect, it's from me and Shaytan, and Allah and His Messenger are free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum. If you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to keep up to date with all of the courses we're going to be running, make sure you head over to amauathome.com.